for the opening goal, you, you, you stood up, you looked so delighted. Was that a really, really important moment for you in this season? Yeah, I think so. You know, we always wanted to get our noses in front today. Um, and yeah, I mean, Sam Higgins scoring, and, and I thought first half there was a couple of opportunities to perhaps increase that. Um, yeah. Do you think the first half uh, uh, really picked up from what the second half in uh, at Dulwich last week? Because ignoring the two all, you, as we said last week, you played so well, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, I don't think our level of performance got to where it was at Dulwich last week because, as I said to you in the week, it was very, very good at Dulwich. Um, but the games now, they're, they're quite frantic. You know, there's a lot of effort going in to keep the ball out of the net, basically. It's not pretty. It's a little bit windy again today for everybody. Um, just massive defensive performance. What was the plan? Because it looked like there was a lot of diagonals and early balls. We, we was conscious of what 
we knew that what they would do. They're quite a direct side, but good at it. I don't mean that in a detrimental way. They're good at what they do. We knew we had to defend well and defend not only the first ball off of their centre forward, their second balls are vital. And we did think that they liked to push their full backs on and we thought that would leave space, that if Ego could pick it up, just sort of deep in our own half that the switch is always on because Ego has got that in his locker as well so it's something we don't just do it today you know we, we do it quite often to be fair and we get in that way watching Sam Higgins in th certainly the first 20 minutes watch him almost beat up the defenders how much how much coaching does somebody like Sam Higgins need uh, that's natural ability um, he, he's been doing that since he was about eight I think um, you know he was well coached at a pro club early days and you can see that that he's difficult to play against as a centre half you know I'm not saying I mean he's not the tallest you know he's not as big as their centre forward but the way he uses his body is just his own ability I'd like to say I coached that last Thursday but I didn't it's all in your hands isn't it how do, how do you cope with that psychologically it's just the, the same old boring stories you know we've got a game the most we can get is three points let's give it our best shot to get three points and see where you go, you know, we're not going to go and win every game, but probably Norah Hampton, or Bogner, whatever, Dulwich and all that stuff. It's a case of just looking after yourselves, doing the right things more times than not, to see where you end up. I have to bring it up as others have, mm. what has happened during the week with, with Lewis Smith. Um, how hard has that been to cope with? To be honest, it's not been too difficult because, you know, it's horrible for Lewis, I'm going to say that straight away, because you know, Lewis has been a massive part of what we've achieved so far this season. Um, we knew it was coming. We've known now for, well, we knew, I knew in December that there was questions being asked and, and Lewis was asked to make a statement, which pretty much, you know, Lewis has admitted to everything that, that he did. That, I mean, obviously that all happened long before he was at East Farwick. Um, it goes back two and a half years ago, apparently. But look, Lewis has done something wrong. Lewis has been found out, not found out, but caught, whatever the word is, and he's been punished. Does, you don't have to answer this, but does the culture that seems to pervade at the moment regarding betting, does that something that concerns, and football, does it something that concerns you? I think it does me, and me probably because like, obviously my age and the generation I was brought up, you know, I, I have used a story before, I you know, I would talk about this game because it consisted of great goals by Jeffers, Martin Peters, things like that. Now the kids talk about Wayne Rooney's 3-1 to, to score a goal and I just find that sad and I, I really do think we need to look at ourselves, do we, do, you know, what are we saying about our football? You know, there's, there's the money side of it is, I, I, I've got to be, probably got to be careful what I say, but I'm, I'm not very happy about a lot of things. So, so we go back to the pitch, uh, enjoying this John? Yeah, you've got to because there's lots of... Uh, there's seasons where you know you get to this stage and you're sort of waiting for it to end. You're playing the games out. You're going to might be finishing 14th. Why wouldn't you enjoy it? John, thank you very much for your time. Cheers.